Hello, in this tutorial we are going to be creating the lower housing. So start a new part file and click OK. The unit is still in inch. Um, on the right plane, select the right plane and sketch. And just go normal to and have something like this. Let's draw a circle. Right, draw something like that and draw a line up here something like this select that line holding down the control key select the origin point add a midpoint relation and let's trim this top part out then on the bottom use the corner rectangle and draw something like this All right and let's add some dimension and which one should we add? Let's add this top one. It is going to be 15. And the radius of our circle is going to be 6. And we can just move this down a little bit. The distance from the top to the bottom of that is going to be 6.5. The distance here is going to be 1.5. Over over here, click this point, hold it down the control key, click your origin point, and add the vertical relation. You can also use a line, so draw a line from that midpoint up to that origin point and make sure it's a vertical line. Um next, what else do we need? So let's drag this. The dimension here is going to be 14. We have a fully defined sketch. And there's one more stuff we need to draw up here. So draw a line coming down. Going out like that. And the diam dimension here is going to be um, 0.41. We have a fully defined sketch. Let's start trimming. So we'll trim this inside out. We'll trim this off. And we'll trim this off. On the bottom, we'll trim this off and trim that off. So you should have something like this. Then we'll come to feature, extrude by the mid plane, and the distance is going to be 8. Make sure you change this to the mid plane. The distance is 8 and click OK. Good. So now let's select the right plane again. I'm going to select the auto resize. Select the right plane and sketch number two. Let's draw a circle in here. Let's add a line from quadrant to quadrant. Trim this top part out and add your dimension. It is going to be 5.75. And we have a fully defined sketch. Come to feature, extrude cut by the mid plane, and the distance is going to be 7.5. And click OK. And next, click this face. So when you have, I know it looks the same, but let's select this face and sketch number two. And let's draw a circle and add a line from quadrant to quadrant. Trim this part out and add your dimension, which is going to be 4.875. 4.875 and click OK. And make sure you are drawing it on this side. So if I go to my isometric view, you can see I'm drawing it on this side. If you look in our assembly, we are drawing this side of the part. So make sure you're drawing this sketch on this side. Um, then we will go to feature, extrude cut, and select up to next, and click OK. We'll do the same thing for this face. So select this face, sketch, normal two. And we'll cut this small piece over there. 
draw a circle, add a line from quadrant to quadrant, trim the top part out, and add your dimension, which is going to be 1.5 radius. Again, we'll go feature, extrude cut, and it's going to be up to next, and click OK. The final thing we need to do on this part is to cut those hole in. Select this face and sketch number two. I'm just going to move it here. Let's draw four circles again. And the distance from here to the center of that circle is one. The distance from here to the center of that circle is two. Um, before we do that, we can even like select all four points. Make sure they are horizontal to each other. And let's select all four circles. Not the face, the circles. Holding down the control key, select all four circles. Add an equal relation. Let's add our dimension, which is going to be 0.41. And um, let's select this point at the horizontal relation and this point. This point and that point and add the horizontal relation. So make sure your all your four circles have a horizontal relation. So if I drag it up and down, they should follow each other. The next thing we need to do is just add our dimension here. From that edge to the center of that point, it is going to be 0.75. And let's do the same thing for this side. So we'll just add a dimension. We could have drawn this too and mirror it. I think that's the best way. Um, but let's do it this way for now. One and from that line to that line. From this circle to this circle. Let me zoom in. From the center point of this circle to the center point of that circle is two. We have a fully defined sketch, feature, extrude cut. It's going to be up to next. Click OK. And we are going to mirror it to this side. So select mirror, come down, select your front plane. And the feature we want to mirror is our extrude cut and click OK. And we are done with this part. Thank you guys. I will see you in the next tutorial where we are going to be working on this part. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.